Hey everyone, welcome back to my garden. And today I got another exciting episode for you. We're going to be talking about the uh, hydroponic paprika pepper. For those of you that remember, we've been all growing this plant. It's got a nice and big for me. Look at how beautiful this plant looks. And this plant was planted from seed on March 19th. And now it's already April 27th. So look at how beautiful, beautiful this plant is. Look at these nice, big, broad leaves. And look at the size of this thing. It's basically like half the size of my hand. This thing is beautiful. And the best part about it, let me zoom you in. Look at all those beautiful buds forming. Look at that nice one right there that's opening up. Let's turn this around. You can really see it. Look at that one right there, right in the middle. And as you see, I have the Y shape. Stem comes up, up that way, and that's my Y. And if you wanted to clip it, you would cut it right there. But I don't want to, I want this plant to grow for me. I want it to finish. And if you see, this is, has a, I have a ton of bulbs forming everywhere. Look at all those little buds. Look on this side also as well. Ton of beautiful little buds. So I'm gonna have a, a lot of peppers on the, off of this one little plant. And look at the base right here. The base has gotten nice and big, very thick. Look at this, beautiful, beautiful color. Nice and purple, deep, deep dark purple. And with mixes of green lines going throughout. And if you see, in between the nodes, there's growth starting to appear. How beautiful right there, look up there. And between each node, basically, you see there's gonna be new growth. And not only am I gonna have these peppers, after these peppers grow nice and big, I'm gonna be able to harvest them. Once I harvest all those peppers, all those side shoots will keep getting nice and big and producing more and more peppers for me off this one little plant. I'm going to have a very good amount of peppers and once this plant gets nice and big and I'm actually able to harvest a good amount of peppers, I'm going to show you exactly how I take them, dry them out, as well as create paprika pepper, or paprika powder I mean, and I'll show you how to do that also. So this will definitely be a complete how-to. And for those of you that wanted to grow some paprika pepper, this is a fair ozone. Just watch these videos and you'll know exactly what you're going to get yourself into. And this plant is nice and compact actually. It's a, this is a dwarf pepper plant. Currently it's about the size of, um, what is it, it's about five inches, six inches maybe, something like that. So it's nice and compact grown in a little hydroponic glass jar as you see here and let me show you the root system I'm always excited to see what that looks like and immediately you see all these little side off the sides right here you see all the air roots coming and look at that nice beautiful white and if we look down there we have a good amount of nutrients still left and being that this plant is in flowering stage, I'm using the flowering ratio for that I showed you earlier in videos. That's three grams of master blend, three grams calcium nitrate, and two grams Epsom salt. And I think the results speak for themselves. This plant is doing very well in my in little indoor grow. Man, I couldn't be happier with it. And once this plant gets the peppers and they're gonna open up and bulb, I'll show you how to hand how I hand pollinate it and I think that's all we really need to know for this little pepper so that's what I got for you today and if, if you have any questions leave them down below as always I'll do my best to answer everything and don't forget to hit the thumbs up and subscribe thanks for watching